out of 27 companies, universities and private teams from five countries that entered the Carbon X Prize competition in 2017, 10 finalists managed to convince the judges that their technology can use a substantial amount of CO2 in a viable product. They now have two years to further develop their ideas. Marcus Extavor, prize lead for the Carbon X Prize, says the ultimate goal is the so-called circular carbon economy, in which carbon dioxide will be used as a valuable source instead of releasing it into the air. The way we're trying to do it in the Carbon X Prize is not so much talk about it, but show it. That's why we ask the teams to actually build a working system that you can see, you can touch it, see if it works, measure the data. The finalist solutions range from using CO2 in producing new types of building materials, such as concrete, to new types of fuel, plastic and graphene, often promoted as the material of the future. Extavor says the judges also evaluated feasibility of the new technologies. In order to get a technology into the market, you have to think carefully about cost and make sure that it's accessible as widely around the world as possible. If this technology is going to be relevant for climate change, it needs to be deployed as widely as possible. In the final phase, the competitors will have to demonstrate that their technologies are scalable to at least 10 times greater volume. But there will be one more important step. The grand prize is $20 million, but the real prize is access to the marketplace, access to actually deploy and get this technology out there into the world. I think that's what all these teams are actually competing for. The X Prize challenges, including this one, are funded by contributions from wealthy international donors. George Putic, VOA News.